Hello, everybody. Willowwood Development LLC versus Letitia Montgomery, 24-0423. Good afternoon. Good For the record, Tom Hocking on behalf of plaintiff. Good afternoon, Mr. Hocking. Letitia Montgomery here. Good afternoon, Ms. Montgomery. All right, we're here today on a motion for summary disposition. I believe this is a, an adjourned motion. I thought the parties were talking from the last time we were here. Is that correct? Well, yeah, yeah sure. I'm wondering if we might be able to just go to a breakout room real briefly and see if we can work it out one last time. I'll send you in your breakout room. The court will recall the case of Willowwood Development LLC versus Thomas. Um, I'm sorry, versus Letitia Montgomery, case number 24C0423. Hi, Letitia Montgomery. Good afternoon again, Your Honor, Tom Hocking. Good afternoon. Um, the parties had an opportunity to talk today. Where are we with this, please? <clears throat> well, Your Honor, I, I thought we were getting close and, and I have a number that I thought we had agreed upon, but um, I don't think we do have a settlement. I'd like, I, and if we don't, then I have to proceed on our motion. All right. And Ms. Montgomery, if I told you that they have a motion for summary disposition today, that if you do not reach an agreement and they find their motion for summary disposition, they get a judgment against you and they can garnish your wages. Do you understand that, ma'am? Well, um, well, how can I do? I read the motion and I tried to speak with mr thomas several times about this case and he i haven't spoke with anyone i spoke to one young man and it's wrong charges on this account and he said that mr hawkins was going to give me a call back i never spoke to nobody about this account so i just disagree with this i don't know if i need to i don't know how it works i don't have a lawyer i even tried to um i'm on ssi and um, I've been trying to do the legal aid, trying to have them call me back to and discuss this matter because I disagree with this. They not talking to me and they just want to throw all these charges on me, which I disagree. They don't even have the accurate amount on the paper that they sent. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. This is over a lease, right? And you're yeah. talking security deposits and damages is that what this is about yes it is your honor so that would require actual proofs right well um it's our position that the defendant um acknowledged it by making a payment once she knew what the balance was but if the court wants proofs on it i understand that and i understand she's pro per and um i think we pretty much agreed with what she I uh, indicated what she thought was a fair settlement, and if, if she doesn't want it, then I guess we um, either hear our motion or if the court wants to have evidence, then I'll be happy to follow whatever direction the court wants to go on it. I understand. So there was a, a security deposit in this case of $705 initially, and then there were some balances that were due. Uh, she is disputing it looks like what are you disputing ma'am about this 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 I'm, amount? Dis I'm disputing the november and december rent that they saying that i owe and then the damages i know it was some damages as far as like the carpet maybe was was messed up or whatever but um all the other damages that's why when i pay i did pay 75 dollars. i was trying to get my credit together I tried to reach out to them when they when they sent me the letter saying what I owe. Ma'am, ma'am, I want you to just tell me what you're disputing, please. The I'm disputing the November and December rent, the kitchen counter damage, tile missing, worn stain, kitchen cabinet missing parts and damages. So um, first of all, Mr. Hocking, as far as the rents are concerned from November to December, what is your what is your client's basis for still charging that? When did she move out? Well, she didn't move out until November 14th. 
And technically, she's supposed to give a 30-day notice. So that's that's why they charged her from November 14th to uh, December 14th. But in our discussions, I've indicated that I'm willing to waive that. I'm willing to waive the November and December rent, which she is complaining about. So I don't know if we can call that a moot issue or not, but we did agree that um, we would waive those fees. And I agreed that we would waive any interest or uh, fees after we had reached that um, uh, ledger that is labeled as list of damages for tenant that's attached to our motion and our complaint. So out of that, uh, we would agree to um, waive the December and, and uh, November rent. And that is what I came up with. It was a figure of um, $1,046 that would be waived in regard to that issue. So you would leave a balance? Yeah, well, the way I figured it out, and I thought when we had gotten to these figures was something that was going to be agreed upon, but um, I don't mind the court hearing what, what we figured. The The figure on the total balance of basically was 2596 and that was the rest of it was interest and costs and so forth but if we went back to that balance of 2596 she's indicated that um she wanted the only thing that w was in discussion prior to today was the fact of the um november and december rent so um i've agreed to waive that that would be um uh bring the balance down to um i had seventeen hundred and seventeen dollars so it basically knocking a thousand dollars off that uh twenty five hundred dollar figure so you know they'd go down to about seventeen hundred is what i've gotten them down to but then we came down to that figure and kind of you know went back to the original thing because nothing could be agreed upon. I thought we had that agreed upon that once those figures were waived, that that was the settlement. But when we got down to the bottom line, um, I don't think we have an agreement. So what I'm confused about is this, she has 705. I don't think these numbers are right. Um, I just don't understand. So she had $705. Yep that she had on hand already. Yes. And then you're saying that there is $1,371 for the washer and dryer, the rent that she didn't pay from October to November, late charges, and then court costs. So that's 1371. Yep. And then I think the problem is the way this is written. So what is, yeah. what is the total for the new charges? The total of the new charges are, well, it'll be the thirteen seventy one plus these other charges minus the seven hundred. Can you add this number here from this? All those at all those. Yes. Yes. Not together, not with separate. I need that separate from the first time. I just need those new charges only. All right, so how much were you uh, trying to say you're willing to settle this for? What's the total number you're trying to settle with her for? 1717. And that includes giving her credit for the security deposit and waiving the um, November and December rent. See. All right, ma'am. Um, I can tell you that I've looked at these numbers and it's probably in your best interest to enter into some type of a resolution, but I can't give you legal advice. You can have a hearing, you can do whatever you want to do, but when you add all those numbers together, that's probably the best you're going to do. Well, they even, the, I wanted to go no, over. I'm not, I'm not debating with you. This is not no, I'm just, can yeah. I just say something? Because no. they got something no, wrong no, over here. Yeah, they got a lot wrong and I'm telling you it's in your favor. So you can Keep doing what you want to do, but it's going to be against your best interest to do so. So what, what is the do? What do you want to do? You want me to hear this motion and you want to move forward on this? Or what do you want to do? 
And he, I'm having to pay seventeen hundred. Is that what the motion is for? No, the motion is for you to pay what they have on the sheet. I don't know what's on the sheet. Okay. Well, do you have the sheet? They gave it to you. you just told me you read it. Yeah, I did read the sheet, but he said different numbers. If he was taking all of that off, what is the new? There is amount? no off. If you're not going to agree to it, there is no off, ma'am. There is only on everything on this sheet. Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Could you explain it to me better? What you saying? Because I'm not understanding what you. We just sat here and talked about that he's going to waive some stuff or whatever. I'm just unless you reach an agreement. If there's no agreement, they want everything that's on the sheet. They're requesting that you pay that. There's no easier way to say that. You either agree or they're asking for everything that is here. So you're saying agree to the amount that he I'm already I'm telling said. you what to do. I'm telling you what the, you asked me to explain what position you're in and I just did that. You can accept the agreement or you can actually move forward and they're asking for everything on the sheet. I can accept the agreement. So the agreement is for $1,717. Is that correct? Mr. Yeah, sure. I, I would ask that our court costs, I don't need an attorney fee, but I would ask the filing fee of 75 and the $30 service fee. Mr. Hawking, I asked you very clearly, what is the number? Now you're changing. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. 1717 is fine. All right. Have you guys talked about how this is gonna be paid? I'd, I'd be happy to listen to what she wants to do, Your Honor, um, as far as that. But no, we didn't discuss. We, well, we did. We have in the past discussed um, potential payments, but today we didn't finalize any payments. So if she wa thinks she can make an offer, I'm sure that that's probably okay. All right. Why don't I put you two in the breakout room? You can come back and tell me what the exact agreement is so that we can put it on the record. And then we will be able to uh, get it put into writing, okay? Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. We're back on the record in case of Willowwood Development LLC versus Letitia Montgomery. Um, have the two of you have, um, you don't need to state your appearances again. You had an opportunity to talk um, in a breakout room? We yes. talked, we talked, but we couldn't come up with an amount. Um, I'd be happy to tell the court where we are, and maybe the court can just make that call because we're not that far out, really. Okay. Can I, can I address that? Okay. Um, this young lady is on SSI. She's not working right now. And uh, she is offered $25 a month. I'm not able to accept that because realistically, that just would take too long. I did indicate that while she's on SSI, if she could pay 50 a month, that I would tell my client that's just the way it is. And um, that's that's what we would agree to. Um, that's that's where it is. I, I, I can't really go back to my client and tell them $25 a month. Um, but right. th that's where we are, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Montgomery, is there something you'd like to say? Yeah, I was just letting them know with everything going on with my monthly fee, I can't commit to paying the $25. He wanted me to, he even went down to 50, but with everything that I have to pay for and my children is just, I don't want to commit to something and then I don't pay it. Well, $25 is a very small amount. Um, I will at this point, say that you can pay $40 per month. I'm gonna come somewhere in, in the middle. So, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I think that's a fair settlement to everyone, Your Honor. All right, so the agreement is for 1717 at $40 per month, correct? Correct, and I guess we should put a start date in there, maybe a month from now, something like that, or whatever day of the month in, in September would be good. On what day of the month can you pay? Um, September the 4th. On the 4th of each month? Yes. 
All right. And you're going to prepare the document to this effect, um, Mr. Hacking? Yes. Do uh, you mind if I just send it in through the uh, seven day rule or how, how do you want me to present? Seven days. Good. Just make okay. sure you have our email address. Um, yes, I do, because we've uh, just even while we were on breakout room, we were exchanging some documents by email. So I, I do have it. Who do I send it to? Like, where do I send it? You're going to put give that you a, Yeah, okay. I'll put that information right in the order, but um, you can mail a check right to my office uh, made out to the plaintiff's name. Or I can give you a number that you can do it over the phone and set up an automatic payment. Yeah, they can do that. I'll what, do that. What format are you submitting this document in, uh, Mr. Hyde? Um, well, I was just going to as a present it as an order of the court because um, if you want me to do it as a stipulated order, I guess I could do that. No, you can do an order of the court, but is this a, a conditional order of dismissal? Is this a judgment? How are you doing this? Oh, um, I'd like to just do it as a consent judgment, Your Honor. All right. If you do that, my request is if she pays according to schedule, that it'll be set aside. Oh, certainly, Your Honor. Okay. In fact, um, I don't know um, if the court wants me to do a conditional dismissal. I can do it that way also, that judgment would enter if she doesn't make her payments for that okay yeah that's, that's fine with me all right thank you cod is forthcoming what that means ma'am is the case is dismissed so you won't have a judgment on your record and it won't affect your ability uh won't affect your credit uh and then what will happen is you pay according to schedule it will never get on your record if you don't pay then you'll have a judgment on your record which sticks with you for at least seven years not more okay okay thank you for working hard today have a good day everybody Thank, Thank you. I appreciate all your help on it, Judge. Thank you very much. Be safe, be well, sleep sweet, and much love.